everyone, it's Krithika. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in Eindhoven in the Netherlands right now at the airport and today we are flying to Rome. couple of friends there's Atul who's uh, we went to high school together so he's my friend from Belor and here's Christina say hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're spending like the next uh, couple of days in Rome and we got super cheap flights round trip for 19 euros I think so gotta love that about Europe welcome to Europe welcome to Europe so our flights just starting to board let's get going Longish journey. We have finally made it to Rome. So we took a flight from Eindhoven to Rome, then took a bus from there, uh, then walked a lot, took a metro, walked again, and finally made it to our room. This is what it looks like. And the time right now is, I think, 7 p.m. or so. And we just want to head out for dinner. Not much we're doing today, uh, but Atul is figuring out a place for us to eat. How's that going? Slow. Slow. <laughs> I don't know. So we're heading for dinner to this uh, restaurant near our hotel but oh my god Rome is so cute already So while in Italy I want to have as much good food as possible since I'm vegetarian there aren't actually that many options here so I've gotten myself some bruschetta and ordered pasta which is yet to arrive and of course some Italian wine uh, which tastes amazing also we've got Atul eating let me eat <laughs> okay we should let him eat and Christina hello do you want to tell everyone where you're from I'm from Cyprus from Cyprus and she lives in the Netherlands but anyway let's uh, dig right in and see what the food is like just take it slow Honestly, the best theorem is who I've had. Oh my, I missed the sun. Just wait, it will be too long till we Good morning, everybody. Today is our first day in Rome, and the plan for today is to explore the city, starting with the Colosseum that you see right behind me. We booked our passes online uh, for the Colosseum and it was for like 19 euros per person for the Colosseum, the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. Usually I've heard there's a long line to get in but we kind of just sailed through. I don't think there are as many people today but yeah, very excited to explore the Colosseum. So I'm inside the Colosseum now and for those of you who don't know much about it, this is the oldest, largest standing amphitheatre in the world. I think it's around 1900 years old and back in the day gladiator fights used to happen here. This is also one of the new seven wonders of the world and I'm very excited to like check this out. So I've gotten myself like, uh, this is a good tip for anyone travelling here actually. You can buy audio guides obviously but I'm just using this app by Rick Steves so he's got some free audio guides. So yeah, I'm just going to listen to this audio guide and check out the Colosseum. When we think of ancient Rome, we think of Caesars, gladiators, lions and Christians, thumbs up, thumbs down, and of the Colosseum, Rome's most enduring monument. So take this love and try to make it new. You can fight it when it feels so true. Feels so true. You tell me crazy like no one else. The final moment for I lose myself. It's no use working 
So done at the Coliseum and this was honestly so impressive from inside especially with the audio guide because you get to know about the history of this place but anyway right in front of the Arch of Constantine now and uh, we're just gonna go explore the Roman Forum. So right opposite the Colosseum is the Roman Forum. This is where it starts and the Roman Forum is basically, uh, was basically the center of the Roman civilization. The Roman civilization was uh, around for almost thousand years so there's a lot of like old buildings and a lot of history around here. So I've got my audio guide on and I'm just going to walk around and explore this place. So this behind me is the Arch of Titus, this is where you enter from. In front of me here is Capitol Hill and on this side is Palatine Hill. And it's crazy to think that this was the center of such a grand civilization. There's just so much history over here and these buildings look insane. So this here is the Via Sacra, which used to be like the main uh, public street to walk on. So this behind me is the Temple of Vesta, which was supposedly the most sacred spot in this entire uh, Roman Empire. So this behind me is the Temple of Julius Caesar, and when he was assassinated, his funeral was held right here in front of the square. This here is an archaic burial ground. Honestly, just walking around here makes me feel like I've been transported back in time. I think this is the closest we can get to time travel right now. But yeah, the history, like I'm right in the middle of so much history and it's just been incredible. After all that exploring, we'd built up quite an appetite and honestly, when you're in Italy, food is such a huge part of the Italian experience, so we wandered through the quaint lanes of Rome to find a spot to get lunch at. Today has been quite a fun day, we've spent all morning, rather it's like 2pm right now, uh, we've spent the day exploring Rome, went to the Colosseum, the Roman Forum and right now having some pasta for lunch which is looking amazing. So the plan after this is we're going to go to the Pantheon and uh, yeah, see where the day takes us from there. But let's try out the pasta. This pasta is so good. I ordered mushroom pasta for myself. And I guess while I'm in Rome, I'm just gonna eat all the pasta that I can. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to So made it to
to the Pantheon and it's the building that you see behind me there. So it's a mix of Roman and Greek architecture and apparently this is the best preserved building from the Roman Empire so that's quite impressive. And this used to be a pagan temple for the Roman gods back in the day but it was eventually given to the church so it is now a church from inside. So let's go inside and see what it's like. There's quite a line to get in but the entry is actually free. So this massive dome that you see here apparently used to be the biggest dome in the world for like 1300 years and this whole thing is as wide as it is tall. Uh, so when you look at this building from outside it doesn't look like it's going to be a dome inside but this is what it looks like from inside. So I got some Italian style coffee for myself, it's called Moretto, looks really good, let's try it out. So this next spot we're at is called Piazza Navona and it is what you see behind me. We won't be scared. You will see me fly night. I'm staring into your blue eyes. We don't need nobody else. I got you. And you got me too. You can't come to Rome and not try the gelato. It's honestly freezing right now, but I really wanted to try out the gelato, so I got myself this. Let's see what it's like. This gelato is so good. We've just been walking around. I'm right by the river. Uh, it's called Tibur and there are amazing sunset colors. And right behind me here is Castel Saint Angelo. We're not really going inside, but just walking around by the river and this whole neighborhood is just so beautiful. So we've come to this really cute Italian restaurant for dinner, ordered myself some pasta and wine and we've got this appetizer. So I got myself a tiramisu, I'm gonna try, it looks amazing. <laughs> Back in our room now and today has been so much fun. I'm already in love with Rome. So our plan for tomorrow is to visit the Vatican City which should be a lot of fun. So yeah, we're just gonna crash now and I will see you guys tomorrow.